bacteria so gram stain was a procedure by which in a four step uh, we are able to uh, gram scientist has developed this strain and uh, it was uh, able to differentiate two differential it is known as also a differential strain two different type of bacteria that is gram positive and gram negative gram positive is a purple or blue in color gram negative is pink in color initially we put a primary strain known as the crystal violet then this is the four step procedure then in the next step we put the iodine for a modern modern then in the third step we put it we decolorize it those bacteria which has the ability to retain this crystal violet color is known as the gram positive those who lost it becomes colorless at the third step decolorizer and in the <coughs> final stage counter stage we put the suffering or neutral red by which the colorless bacteria become pink in color whereas the those who have retained initially the uh, crystal violet remains the blue or purple in color so at the end of the procedure there is the one type of blue or purple color bacteria another is pink color bacteria and in this two way with gram positive are the purple or blue color one whereas the gram negative is the pink one okay now talking about the gram positive bacteria gram positive bacteria are mainly cocci and few are bacillus in opposite gram negative are mainly bacilli and only one or two are the cocci like nigeria and morexella so we'll talk about the gram negative first we are focusing on the gram positive bacteria and in gram positive bacteria the bacilli are aerobic can be divided into aerobic and anaerobic aerobic means that has survived in the in the presence of oxygen anaerobic that doesn't survive in the presence of the oxygen so they are aerobic organism like listeria bacillus anthracis causing anthrax listeria monocytes causing meningitis coronary bacterium diphtheria causing diphtheria so there are the anaerobic organism like clostridium and qt bacterium that is formerly known as the propionobacterium and then there is the branching filamentous like aerobic nocardia causing uh, nocardiosis that is in the brain and the lungs infection anaerobic actinomyces many anaerobic this are the anaerobic organism one infection so now focusing on the cocci cocci the gram positive that is coccus mainly is all the gram positive if you think about the cocci there should be a gram positive mainly there are only few exceptions so cocci gram positive if they are divided they have break down they have been uh, catalytic cata means to break down it is a metabolism so catabolism break down this cocci group of gram positive group of organism into two diff different groups that is streptococcus and staphylococcus if it is a catalyst positive one this goes to the staphylococcus group that is the cluster group of organism okay and that catalyst positive if it is gram positive catalyst positive it give, goes to the staphylococcus group in staphylococcus group these are the cluster group of organism that can be again three major different uh, medical important bacteria that is the uh, staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus epidermidis and staphylococcus saprophyticus and among these three different uh, bacteria staphylococcus aureus Staphylococcus aureus is the major medical important. Although all, every three is important, but Staph aureus can cause, um, it can even cause um, osteomyelitis, it can cause wound infection, abscess, boil, carbuncle, furuncle, and then it can cause your uh, um, heart infection, everything. So that is important. So any bacteria that is gram positive, catalase positive. So now it comes to the group Staphylococcus. If it is coagulase positive, then it is the Staph aureus. Gram positive, catalase positive goes to this, this staphylococcus cluster group of organism. Among that, it is if it is a coagulase positive, it is staph aureus. If it is a coagulase negative, then it can be goes to the staphylococcus saprophyticus or staphylococcus epidermidis. Now, talking about this staphylococcus saprophyticus or staphylococcus epidermidis, we can differentiate these two organisms by a test called Novaisen test. In Novaisen test, it is a dix that is uh, put into the um, agar plate and we grow this organism. If it the organism is killed that is sensitive then it is a staphylococcus epidermidis if it is resistant then it is a staphylococcus saprophyticus what does saprophyticus do it is usually responsible for urine tract infection in the sexually active female what does if staphylococcus epidermidis do it is usually responsible for causing the plant implant infection then catheter infection and neonatal sepsis in a newborn baby so how can we reach there over there okay catalase positive no gram suppose gram stain is gram positive we are doing the test catalase catalase test what is the organism catalase positive it is staphylococcus aureus how we can goes into the detail staphylococcus aureus cat coagulase test it is staphylococcus aureus if it is the staphylococcus group cat coagulase test is goes to the staphylococcus aureus if it is coagulase negative gram positive catalase positive but coagulase negative then goes to the staphylococcus saprophyticus or staphylococcus epidermidis now how
how, how we can differentiate this by doing a Novaisen test. So Novaisen test, gram positive, catalase positive, coagulase negative, but Novaisen test sensitive. It is Staphylococcus epidermidis. Gram positive, catalase positive, gram positive, catalase positive, coagulase negative, Novaisen resistant. It is Staphylococcus saprophyticus. So by any means, they can give you information by which they can lead to a like it can be leads to the saprophyticus, it can lead to the epidermidis. There are only four information like Novaisen test, coagulase test, catalase test, and gram stain. So gram stain, catalase test. It's a staphylococcus group, group. Catalyst negative, it goes to the streptococcus group. Okay, we'll talk about the streptococcus group. So, gram positive, catalyst positive, staphylococcus group, staphylococcus, that is the staph aureus, staph aureus, that is the uh, sim simply test. If it's a catalyst um, gram stain, catalyst positive, then that is a coagulase test positive. It is staph aureus, it is coagulase test negative, negative. We can go for the novicin sensitive, that is staphylococcus saprophyticus and staphylococcus epidermidis. And in this way, if it is a sensitive, it is staph epidermidis. If it is a resistant, it is the staphylococcus saprophyticus. So, we can reach to the each and every organism. They will give you a scenario and give this four information and they will play with this information and help you, ask you to identify one of the organisms. And you can do this.